Chapter 832 After searching around for a short while and not seeing Elaine anywhere, Trump suddenly said, Alex, should we look for a place to eat some barbecued meat instead? Emma was rushing us so much during dinner tonight and I was eating in such a hurry so I'm not full at all. Alex smiled before he said, Okay, Dad. I know of a roadside barbecue stall selling some really delicious barbecued meat. Trump patted his thigh before he said, Let's go. We should enjoy some roast meat and drink a couple of beers together tonight. Alex replied hurriedly, Dad, I am driving so I can't drink with you tonight. Trump waved his hand before he said, We will just call for a driver then. It is a rare opportunity for us father and son to be able to enjoy a drink together. Your mother-in-law is always nagging and chanting into my ears all day long and it is really very annoying. Now that she happens to be away, shouldn't we enjoy a drink together then? Alex shrugged before he smiled and said, since you said so, then let's enjoy some drinks together then. After that, Alex drove them to the barbecue stall by the roadside. Both of them ordered a lot of barbecued meat and a few bottles of beer. After that, they happily sat by the roadside as they enjoyed their food and drink. As the initiator and mastermind behind Elaine's disappearance, Alex was naturally very happy. As for Trump, after being tortured by Elaine for such a long time, he was also very relaxed and happy now that she was not around. As soon as both of them sat down and were about to start eating, Alex suddenly received a phone call from Emma. He hurriedly winked at Trump before he answered the call and asked, Hello, Emma. Did you make the police report yet? Emma replied in a frustrated tone, I have already made a police report but the police officers said that mom is already an adult and she has not been missing for more than 10 hours yet. Therefore, there is no way for the police to immobilize their search team to look for her. However, they have already entered her details into the system and they will notify me as soon as someone finds her. Alex replied, that's good. In fact, what the police officer said is right. Your mom has only been missing for a few hours. So, how can they possibly send out a large group of police officers to look for her? The police officers would definitely have much more important things to do. Well, Emma replied. I just don't have a very good feeling about this. I can't help but feel that things are a little strange. I am really afraid that something bad has already happened to my mother. You know how her character and temper is. I am afraid that she will be in a lot of trouble if she had a conflict with someone outside. Alex could not help but feel that Emma really understood Elaine's temperament. As he thought about this, Alex could only sigh. Ever since he married Emma and became a part of the Richard family, he could not help but realize that Emma was indeed an extremely rare and good person. She was not only beautiful on the outside, because no matter how attractive she was, the most important thing was also the fact that she was truly a very kind and amazing person. This was especially incredible since she had grown up in this kind of messed up family environment. After all, none of the entire Richard family members, ranging from Lady Richard to Mayachel's entire family were good people. Trump could barely be considered a good person, but he was too cowardly and timid. Alex really appreciated the fact that Emma could possess such a good and pure heart despite growing up in this kind of family. At this time, he began to ponder about what he should do with Elaine. If Elaine disappeared for a lifetime, there was no doubt that Emma would never be able to let it go at all. In other words, for the sake of his wife, he would have no choice but to let his stupid mother-in-law out of the detention center sooner or later. In fact, Alex would be more than willing to let her out as soon as she had suffered enough. Besides, there were still some hidden dangers that were yet to be resolved. For instance, Alex knew that the first thing Elaine would do as soon as she was set free would be to confront him and ask him why he had the bank card on him. She would definitely consider him as a member of the scamming crew. If that was the case, Elaine would definitely tell Emma about this. No matter what it was, Alex had to think of a way to make sure that Elaine would keep her big mouth shut.